and do the whole thing yourself. Press pause and try that, or otherwise I'll do it step by step anyway. Okay. So example 10, you are 25 years old now and you plan to retire at age 65. You want to have a monthly income of 2800 from a fixed term annuity when you retire. Take the term of the annuity to be 22 years and assume an APR of 2.7%. How large will your nest egg have to be at retirement to guarantee the income described above? And then, what monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement? In other words, to achieve the nest egg that you're going to figure out here. Okay. So, to achieve the nest egg amount. Okay. So, let's start with this one. And by all means, press pause and try it if you want. But I'm just going to do it step by step for those who need extra help. So, how large will your nest egg have to be? So we're going to use this formula that the nest egg needed equals the annuity payment goal. What do we want to happen? You want to have, you want to have a monthly income of $2,800 when you retire. Okay. Times this stuff over this stuff, right? So what we need to calculate these is we need R. We need 1 plus R and we need T. Press pause and calculate each one of those and then check the video and see how you, how you, how you got on. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause to try it. This is the time to make a mistake. This is the time to try it yourself. Try it yourself, think about it, make a mistake and then just watch the video and you'll learn something and hopefully the homework will be a little bit more smooth. So R is supposed to be monthly interest rate which means we take the annual percentage rate of 2.7 percent which is 0 0.027 and we divide it by 12 to get the monthly interest rate of 0 0.00 um, so 0 0.027 divide by 12 and that's 0 0.00225 right now 1 plus R is what? 1 plus this. 1.00225, right? And T is what? What's T? T represents the term of the annuity measured in months. How many months is this annuity going to last? In other words, how many months are you going to be retired for? How long are you going to live? How long are you going to be living off this? Right? Take the term of the annuity to be 22 years. So you're planning on living from 65, another 22 years, right? That gets you to 87. Let's hope you croak by, by about then, because if you live past here, all the money be gone, right? Yes, very funny indeed. Okay, so um, the term of the annuity is 22 years times number of months 12 okay which gives what so that's 264 right so we have R we have 1 plus R we have T now we can put it in the formula and calculate everything so, in here, 1 plus R is 1.00225, and we have 1 plus R to the power of T, so that's the power of 264, and then subtract 1, okay? And on the bottom, we have R, which is, again, parenthesis, and then 0 0.00225 times 1 plus R to the power of T. 1.00225 to the power of 264, right? So, calculate the top, then calculate the bottom, and then see if we get the same answer. Well, we'll start with the top anyway. So press pause and calculate the top and see what you get, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and try to calculate the top. So I'm going to do it now. Once again on the top, we've got to follow PEMDAS. Parentheses first, then exponents and so on. So we go inside the parentheses and inside the parentheses we have an exponent and a subtraction. 
we must have the exponent first. So 1.00225 to the power of 264 equals that. Then subtract 1 and we get that number. We take this number and multiply it by 2800. So times 2800 equals this number. Write that one down. 2268.0225. And now calculate the bottom. And once again on the top, we could have just, um, if you have a calculator that will do a one line entry, you could just write out the top and press enter and get that as well. So now press pause and do the bottom of the fraction and then check it. Okay, I'll do it now. So on the bottom, we do have an exponent and we also have a multiplication. You must do exponents first. So 1.00. 225 to the power of 264 equals this number. Multiply that number by 0.00225 and we get this. And I've got a funny little um, negative 3 on mine. And you might have that too. And I'll just go quickly explain to you what that is. What this means is approximately 4.0 7 times 10 to the power of negative 3 and if you want to turn that into a regular decimal you can find buttons on your calculator to do that like mode should help you do that or you can take this decimal point and move it 1, 2, 3 spaces to the left and put it here and now you have it as a regular decimal okay so that is 0, 0.00 Four zero seven two five two four. Let's say right, and then we just divide those, and we should have our answer. So two two six eight point zero two nine nine uh, two nine divided by the bottom. Okay, and we should get five five six nine one zero point one four four etc. So this is a big nest egg number. Let's round this guy to the nearest dollar, right? So round him to the nearest dollar, and what do you get? Five hundred fifty six thousand. Nine hundred ten dollars, right? Okay, so let's have a look at the next part of this question, and by all means, you can press pause and try this yourself. What monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement? In other words, to achieve this, you want to get um, five hundred fifty-six thousand nine hundred and ten dollars how much will you have to save each month month deposit each month while you're working to get that number and what formula do you need to do that have you got it figured out by all means press pause and, and do it if you want to so if you need reminded I'll remind you again what we need is the deposit needed formula okay so deposit needed is the goal what's our goal five five six nine ten plugged into this formula and that will give us the answer right so again what we need to f for this formula is r one plus r and t and what are the these three numbers Press pause and calculate and figure out what those are. R, 1 plus R, and T. And watch out for T because it's a different T than the previous calculation in the in, on example 10, on this example. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to show you now. So the interest rate we're assuming is going to stay at 2.7% the whole time. 
while you're working, while you're retired, always. So whatever money you have, it's accumulating that amount of interest. So the interest rate is going to be monthly. It's 0 0.027 over 12, which as we know is 0 0.00225. Okay. And 1 plus R, as we know, is 1.00225. So the interest rate is going to be the same while you're retired as while you're working, and it accumulates interest on money you have in your account. Now, what is T? So this is the goal. This is the amount of money we want to get, 556,910. What are we trying to calculate? We're trying to calculate how many... Or, or not so much how many, but but uh, how much we have to deposit each month into our savings account in order to come up with this big number, right? So what is the the time we're thinking about here? What we're thinking about is the number of months we'll need to save while we're working to get this big number. Does that make sense? So this is a different T. This isn't 264. It's going to be a different T than the previous examples. You've got to watch out for that. This is the number of months we'll need to save, put deposits into our account each month to get this big number, right? So what is that? How long are we going to be working for? You are 25 years old now and you plan to retire at age 65. How many years working is that? Write down the answer. How many years are you going to be working for? How many years are you going to be saving for for your retirement? Well, it's 65 minus 25, isn't it? Which is 40 years working. Right? So our T in this is 40 years. But it's we're depositing monthly. So this is we're looking for the monthly deposit needed. So we're talking about how many deposits all together? 40 years times 12 months, which is 480 deposits. We're going to make 480 deposits while we're working to get this amount of money. Okay, so we have R, we have 1 plus R, we have T. Please use this formula and get the answer. Okay, so I hope you've written out the formula anyway. And you should have got 0 0.00225 and on the bottom parenthesis 1.00225 to the power of 480 then subtract 1. Okay so that's what you should have for this. Now press pause and calculate the top and the bottom and see what you get. Okay I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. It's 550 oh, Five five six nine one zero times point zero zero two two five equals one two five three point zero four seven five and on the bottom one point zero zero two two five to the power of four hundred and eighty equals that and subtract one and we get that. So um, there we go. 1.94110928 and then divide those numbers and see what you get. So you might have got Six four five point five three one six etc. Round that to the nearest cent, and what's that to the nearest cent? Six hundred forty five dollars fifty three cent. Okay, so the point is if we work while we're working. 40 years, we're working for 40 years, we're going to deposit this into a savings account and um, that pays 2.7% APR and after 40 years we'll have this amount of money 
in the savings account and then when we retire we will get 2800 each month from that account okay